Hey everybody, Angie B here. As a lot of you already know, I have a son named Jupiter who has autism. He is 11 years old and he is nonverbal. He uses communication, a communication device as his sole means of communication. So I want to tell you kind of about his journey so far with these different communication devices and where we're at now. And I guess I can just go ahead and start with what we used first. This is a PEX communication system. Picture exchange communication system is what PEX stands for. So, as you can see, there are a bunch of little pictures on Velcro. And what Jupiter would do is take one of these off and then hand it to you. Fabulous in theory. Just the way that it's implemented is cumbersome and you have all of these pictures to come across and what if you can't find one then you have to actually make one and draw one and tape it and have Velcro on hand. It was just a hassle. In theory it was great and it was good that he started with this when he did because when he did go to a digital one the concept rolled over really nicely for him. So next what we did was went with the Dynavox. This is the VMAX. This sucker is huge. It is like eight and a half pounds and it's got the nice big screen on it that part's nice but iPads have the big screen too so anyways this one when we first got it it had a regular hard drive in it with moving parts which is ridiculous especially for a kid because every time he dropped it it would break and you can't expect him to never drop it and that was even with the case this is just the one without the case and he picked the pink <laughs> which I thought was so cute so Eventually, after it breaking down three times and having to be sent back to Dynavox to be fixed, they finally, finally gave us a solid state hard drive, but it just, it overall, it was such a hassle that we went with something else. But it was great in that it incorporated all of this into something digital, so we were moving in the right direction. Next, what we went with was an iPod Touch 4, which I have no idea where it's at. I know we still have it somewhere because we listen to radio podcasts on it. Um, we used the iPod Touch 4 with ProLoquo to go app on it. And it has pretty much the same ideas. It's icon based. It's um, So what happens is you push the button of whatever it is he wants and it speaks for you. So you have the auditory, you have the visual, you have the words on the button. All of that reinforcing when he wants to communicate. So there's it's easier. It, it, it makes sense on a lot of different levels. So it took this software, better software, and put it into a much smaller form factor. And he would wear that iPod Touch 4 on a lanyard around his neck. The problems that we came across with that were that it, be, it, it got to be painfully slow. Um, ProLoco to go software just kept getting bigger and better and the device couldn't handle it anymore and Jupiter was getting very frustrated and would push the buttons over and over and over again you know and you could see it on his face and in his actions he was saying come on you know you're going so slow so we decided to move on from that to the iPhone 4s better speakers faster processor great camera we put it in a heavy duty heavy duty otter box case and it worked really well for quite some time uh, again the ProLoquo to go software I think I mentioned it the ProLoquo to go software um, transitions from all of your iPhone devices or your iDevices so you can use it on an iPod iPad iPhone and I can back up his software on all of those so we were using this for a long time and he got lazy with it he didn't want to pull it out of his pocket. So it's, you know, got this really heavy duty great case, which the iPhone 4S needs because the iPhone 4S has a glass front and back. And so much easier to break if you dropped it. So he just wasn't pulling this out of his pocket. It still works fantastic. Actually, the other kids are using this now. So we researched and when the iPod Touch 5, fifth generation came out, we went with that. So this is his talker. We call it his talker. So if I reference, you know, hey Jupiter, where's your talker? This is what we're talking about. So one of the things that's really cool about the fifth generation iPod Touch is that it has a built-in little doohickey here for a lanyard to be attached. It actually came with the lanyard when we got it. Much lighter at 3.1 ounces where 
iPhone 4S is much heavier. I want to say it's double that. It might even be eight and a half ounces. So we have a lanyard we kind of rigged on here that's a little sturdier. The differences with this are that it has a bigger screen. It is a four inch screen. It has the same processing power as the, iPod, as the iPhone 4S, but it's lighter. Now, one of the issues with it being lighter is that it can bend a little bit easier, and I think we've kind of seen issues with that, but not, not enough to where we had problems with it. We've had kind of little glitches with it off and on, but nothing that we could really track down and nothing that ever had to be fixed. It was one of those things where you can't figure it out, you turn it off and turn it on, and then leave it, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then it works again. So we've had issues like that with it. So when you turn it on, it shows a picture of him, and it says his name, where he lives, his phone number, and it says, this is my communication device. He does all kinds of stuff on here. He watches Netflix, he plays games, he takes pictures, he takes videos, he, he does all kinds of stuff, along with it being his communication device. And he wears it around his neck like this, so it's just there all the time. He's actually rather protective about it, and if he doesn't know you real well, uh, he doesn't like to let you mess with it. If you've worked with him for a while, or you know, like family or something, then he'll let you. So, a little more about Pro Loco to go, and pricing. The iPod Touch 5, fifth generation, was about $350. We didn't get the biggest amount of storage. I want to say we got the smallest, which may be 16 gig. I, I'll have to check that on my stats. Um, so $350 for this and $189 for Pro Loco to go, which is really pretty inexpensive considering that the Dynavox was $8,000. $8,000. Let that sink in. So here's his device. You probably can't see it real well. Actually, I could show you on the iPad because, like I was saying, his software is on here. So this is kind of what Pro Loco to go looks like when you first turn it on it's a little owl icon and this is sort of his home page right this is my spaces this is like about me this is all about jupiter and this one needs to be updated because it says he's nine years old and actually jupiter is 11 so i need to work on this one let's see it's all really really easy to to navigate and it's pictures it's all it's all picture based and when you push the button, my name is Jupiter. It talks for you. So he can, you know, show you and then say, My name is Jupiter. My name is Jupiter. I want this or that. I live at 3012 Raccoon Street. You know, so you ask him, Jupiter, where do you live? And he can tell you. And he works on this at school. We send this to school with him. And so he can work with his communication device, but it's big enough to where him and the teacher or the aide can all work together on it. Um, let me see if I have anything else. What? Jupiter, do you want to come and show us what you can do on here? Come here, Jupiter. Oh, yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can sit. You can sit. Okay. Let's move you over. I'll let that ring. Jupiter wants PBS Kids, and so he wants to play that, and he told me, using his talker. Can you say hi? Uh -huh. Hi. Good. Uh -uh. Good. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, I know, I know. You want PBS Kids, I'll get that for you. Pop up, kiddo. <laughs> that is Jupiter. Okay, so that was my semi-review, my short review of the iPod Touch 5 and all of the craziness that is my house that goes on around here at the same time. So this is this is where we have been with his communication. And this is where we're at now. And we are always up for trying new things. And we research and geek out on new tech. And we'll continue to keep our eyes out for the next thing that's coming along. So far, we've been really happy 
with the iPod Touch 5 and Pro Loquo to go software, which I will put um, links to it in the description. So, if you have questions, please ask. We have been, we have run the gauntlet as far as um, autism communication devices, biomedical treatments, uh, learning treatments, you know, we, I, we do ABA therapy, we, we do a lot of different things with Jupiter. So if you have questions at all, or questions about Jupiter in particular, absolutely ask them in the comments. Um, I also talk about Jupiter every so often on my blog, barefootangieb.com. So you can check that out too. Like this video and subscribe and all that good stuff. And take care. Thanks for watching.